Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben back with Passive Income Unlocked. In a previous video, Jeff mentioned that we don't add multiple images to every article that we post. In fact, we only add a feature image to most of our posts. That's not to say that images aren't important though. They definitely provide a ton of benefits and that's why we are making it a point to step up our game this year and add a lot more of them. With that being said, there are a couple things to keep in mind when adding images to your articles. One, it can be very time consuming. And two, the images can potentially slow down your site. In this video, I'll address the second part and show you what we do to optimize our images so that they don't impact our loading times. Let's head on over to the computer. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through our process for optimizing images and give you a few pointers along the way. Let's start with finding and downloading the images themselves. In our case, we use a paid service. But when starting out, your best bet is to either use your own images or use a royalty-free image site like pixels.com or Pixabay. We'll use Pixabay for this example. So let's say we need a picture of a grill for mybackyardlife.com. Let's enter that into the search bar and see what comes up. All right, let's say we need one with charcoal. Click free download. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is all the different dimensions. We tend to stick to the standard dimensions that are basically a nine by six ratio or vice versa. This seems to be the most common ratio for images. For featured images, we always use landscape images so people don't have to scroll too much to get to the text. For images within a post, we use a mix of landscape and portrait. Another thing to keep in mind is the file type. You want your images to be lightweight, so go with something like a JPEG over a PNG. PNGs are great because they can have a transparent background, but they are also larger in file size. Speaking of file size, another thing you want to do is keep the dimensions reasonably low. When you download an image, go with the smallest dimensions that are still big enough for your site. In our case, we resize all of our images to 900 pixels wide. So typically, we download images that are just above that. So if you look over here, 1280 is our best bet. 640 is a little too small. So once you find the image that you want and the proper size that you want to download, go ahead and download it. All right, and here it is. You want to name it something descriptive. Make sure it's not something basic like image one. Next, what we're going to do is resize it down to our desired dimensions. For this, we use bulkresizephotos.com. This tool is nice because you can drag and drop a ton of images on there at once, then resize them all at the same time. It also compresses them and strips out some of the metadata. All right, so let's go ahead and resize the one we downloaded. Go ahead and drag and drop it here. Go to width. We're looking for a 900 pixel wide width. Simply hit start. It downloads it. And there you have it. You can delete the old file, rename the, the new one, and that's all there is to resizing it. Once you have resized your image, you're ready to upload it to WordPress. Let's go ahead and open an article and insert the image now. All right, let's go over to My Backyard Life's Media. I'm already there. Um, drag and drop the charcoal on there. It uploads. One other thing I like to do is copy the title and make it the alternative text as well. And there it is. All right, so let's add it to article real quick. Go over to post. We'll go ahead and just search grill. It's charcoal, open up that post. And then we'll put it under this header. Add the image, media library, or you could do upload. Select charcoal, hit update, and that's all there is to it. So in our case, this is all we need to do to optimize our images because we have a couple things in place that take care of the rest for us. Let's take a second to talk about that. So one thing you want to do to make sure your images don't slow down on your site is to lazy load them. What that means is that your images won't actually load until a visitor scrolls down to them. We used to use a plugin for this, but WordPress recently added this functionality into its core. As you can see here, the uh, search engine journal, WordPress 5.4 will add lazy loading to all images, which is awesome. It takes a step out of the, out of the process. 
Another thing that you can do to optimize your images is compress them. While the bulk resize photos tool that I showed you early does this, we found that optimization plugins do a better job overall. In the past, we used Smush Pro, which is a paid plugin, but they do offer a free version that works pretty well as well. There are plenty of other good ones out there as well, like Short Pixel, if you want to try something different. Today, we are using a plugin from Mediavine called Trellis Images. This plugin is included with the Trellis theme and automatically handles the image compression for us. Another great feature of Trellis, which was one of the reasons that we paid for Smush Pro, is that it converts all your images to WebP format. All you really need to know about WebP is that it seems to be becoming the preferred web format for images and the file size are quite a bit smaller than other formats such as JPEG or PNG. The last tip I'm going to give you for optimizing your images is a CDN. A CDN is a content delivery network and basically what it does is loads the resource on your site from a server that's closer to the visitor. If someone visits your site from the other side of the world, it'll load from a server close to them, not from one that's close to you. There are a lot of CDN options out there, but we use Cloudflare, which is probably the most popular one. Cloudflare has a free option, so I definitely recommend checking it out. In our case, we use Rocket for hosting, and Rocket integrates with Cloudflare Enterprise, so it's perfect for us. All right, that's about it. Optimizing your images really only takes a few steps, much of which can be automated. As technology evolves, this seems to be getting much more hands-off which is great. Either way, it's worth the time to get everything configured so your site loads as quickly as possible. That's it for this one. Until next time.